a beautiful morning. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into some painting. I've got a few projects that I've been working on down by the river in Petersham between Ham and Richmond. Um, it's a really beautiful stretch of the river and a personal favourite of mine. I love the excitement, the anticipation of uh, being on your way to paint somewhere and, um, and that excitement of, of what you'll find when you get there. It's really nice to, to feel that spring is finally starting to, starting to come and the weather's starting to improve. Into the park now. I drive across the park towards Richmond. I love seeing the deer in the park when I'm driving through in the morning. It feels like a completely different world to the hustle and bustle of Putney, Putney High Street. We're up on Richmond Hill and we're turning down towards Petersham. We're going to turn onto the river. I've got a, a, a couple of paintings that I've been working on for the last few weeks and I'm hoping to get them a bit, a bit closer to finish today. When I'm looking for somewhere to paint, I like to find somewhere with lots of variety of interesting colours and shapes um, to make pattern. I also like somewhere with some atmosphere, so a nice sense of spatial distance or depth. The light's very important to my painting and when it changes I try and switch and paint something else, uh, otherwise I end up changing everything in the painting. This painting that I'm working on today is actually one that I saw when I was painting something else and I turned around and I just thought this is fantastic I'm gonna I've got to paint this one instead and so I started started again painting in the other direction I love the bends in the river here it's got a real charm and character to it it's got some really interesting boats around sometimes I work on a painting from anywhere between what could be one session of a few hours or an hour or two up to several weeks worth of work on a bigger, more complicated painting, particularly if the light changes um, or, or if I have to put it down because of a period of different weather. So sometimes I even uh, come back to the same painting a year later. A painting this size can take anywhere between two or three sessions up to 10 or 20. And I just keep bringing it back until I'm satisfied that I've done as well as I can in every area. The light was perfect today to uh, paint a little bit on the boats, but uh, often when I'm painting on site, the weather changes and I, I move to another spot. And I often have a few projects on the go in any area just to account for that. The sun's just about gone in now, so I think I'll possibly get my pastels out and go and find a new location and do some sketching. So I've painted this view a number of times. I really like this spot. This is a spot that was made famous by Turner who painted up here. And uh, he said it was the uh, most beautiful view in England. And since then, this area has been protected. So it's relatively unspoilt. I was just driving by and the, the changing weather looked, looked really interesting on the horizon. So I stopped and, uh, and just did a quick sketch. Um, it's been a very changeable morning and uh, that can be frustrating, but sometimes in other ways, it can be an advantage so hopefully doing a little sketch here will make it make it worthwhile this is just a small sketch so i don't really intend it to be a finished piece i don't actually want it to be particularly finished um, i just want it to to roughly tell me where i want the the spots and the major masses and and uh, what shape of canvas to bring back here when i come back to paint all right I think that's me done here. I'm going to pack up and move on to the next spot. So we'll drive back across the park and then we'll end up going back basically across through Putney, through Wandsworth, and then it's the, basically the same route up to, to Albert Bridge. I always complete my work outside on site and that's because I find that there's a, there's a life outside that I can get in, in my paint that I, I just start to lose when I'm in the studio. 
and I think it's that there's always new information outside and there's always something else to, to get in. You also feel like it just has some of the, the, the life of the, the sort of wind and the, and the movement of things in it that uh, inside can, can become a bit static. Sun's going down, so I think I'm going to move on to another spot, see if I can do a final sketch before the uh, end of the day. I'm just finishing up with a little sunset picture. I love the uh, silhouettes of the lampposts against the sky, the interesting shapes that you get out of them. It's good to work fast at this time because uh, with, the, with the sun setting, uh, the colours will change quite quickly, very quickly. So I just do my best to get the colours and not worry too much about any of the drawing really. And some interesting sort of warm orange light uh, with uh, pinky purple clouds. So it's creating quite an interesting glow, quite fun with these neon pastels. It's been a good day overall. There's been plenty of sunshine and um, bit of snow, some rain, a bit of wind, but towards the end of the day, yeah, it was quite nice. And um, there's always tomorrow, so. Oh, I love the look of those clouds over the uh, Thomas Moore church, that's pretty beautiful. 